Today we're going to install this Goldfinger on our 2016 Skidoo Summit 800. So to start, we're going to take the actual throttle piece of it and undo the clamp and then clamp it onto the bars as the instructions say. So while we're tightening it, we're just going to make sure it is about 90 degrees from the brake because that's what the instructions say. So now we're going to remove the bottom and thumb throttle screw. So now we're going to go ahead, install the washer in between the throttle block and the actual throttle. And then we're going to take this little piece and it will just stick up right under here just like this so that the hole hits where the bottom screw goes and then the little angled piece will grab on the throttle. So now we're gonna take some medium strength thread locker, stick it on the bottom screw, and assemble everything in here. So there we go, that's in. Make sure to not over tighten it and to make sure you get it in the orientation and that there's not too much friction. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the cable to the actual gold finger. So stick it in, make sure it's in the slot, and then pull it up and it slides and locks right in. So now we're going to go ahead and feed the casing over the cable. To do this, you also want to take off the little handlebar cover. So now we've set up the cable and it runs behind the brake as well as uh, wiring on the left side and then it comes around above all the wiring and throttle on the right side and then set it up here, make sure it's all the way in on the left hand side throttle and measure an inch and a quarter away from the end of the barrel. Put a little piece of tape there and now we're gonna cut it. So now we're gonna go ahead and zip tie the cable on. Now we're gonna go ahead, take our little cable end and then feed it onto the cable. See there, feed it all the way on to the cable housing and then it just slides right on the cable housing and then we'll crimp it on. Make sure to give it a little tug and make sure it doesn't come off. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this little rubber thing and stick the big end on first and then slide it down the cable. So there we go, we slid on the little rubber piece on top of the housing and the other end is still on the cable. So now we fed this back through and now we're gonna go ahead and cut the zip ties and stick the handlebar padding back on. So now we're going to adjust the throttle and get it into its position. So you want to have the thumb throttle all the way in the closed position and make sure that this is held right against the throttle. So push it that way and ensure that your gold finger is all the way down and then you're going to grab this, this cable and push against here with your thumb and pull it as tight as you can and then tighten the screw on the bottom. If you need some help, you can use some vice grips or some pliers to grip the cable. Now we're going to go ahead and trim this. So take your biggest Allen wrench and your channel lock pliers, and then you're going to grab the channel locks on here, and then we're going to tighten the bottom screw to pinch down on the cable. So now we're going to go ahead and snip this. Snip it about half an inch away from the barrel. So there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is take our little uh, wire cap end that you crimp on and just feed it on. Make sure none of the wires get bound up. And just take your channel locks, crimp it on there real good. So now it's all installed, looking real nice. And now we're going to go and test it. So before we test it, we're just going to go ahead and make sure it is in the fully closed position. And then when you grab the other throttle, make sure that it's all functioning properly and also make sure that the thumb throttle is functioning properly as well. All right, so we're out here having lots of fun. Got our old machine and two of our new machines. This is the one we just installed the throttle on and let's see if it goes. And it seems like it's working. So that's a job well done.